Hey everybody, it's Joanne from RTLA Tarot. Thanks for checking out this message. I'm going to be doing a reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm going to tap into the energy surrounding you, coming towards you, see what message your guides and angels have for you. So if you're a cross watcher here for Aries, please remember flip switch the energies and roles. And if it does not resonate, don't force it. You can check out other placements or uh, contact me for a personal. I will leave email in the description box of the video for you. Show me the energy surrounding Aries coming towards them. So I'm going to pull Oracle and then clarify with Tarot. What is the message for Aries? So there's movement. You could be moving, you could be moving locations, you could be changing your home. There's definitely some type of illusion that has been lifted. There's clarity, there's they're seeing something clearly, and there's a release, a release of something chaotic with the emotions card, leg waves in and out crashing, unpredictable. Love affair, temptations, flirting, giving in to pleasure, boxed up, environment change, empty shell. And then in the reverse, love affair, keeping things inside, not opening up an illusion. So it's about, you know, standing in full authority or accountability for a cycle that you are in, involved in, is what I feel here. So I'm going to dive deeper to get a clearer picture of what this message is for. So I'm going to do a six card spread. First card will be the anchor. Call upon Aries guides angels to protect the co uh, collective. Do not allow for any negative attachments. Call upon my angels, my guides. Do not allow any negative attachments. Allow me to channel this message for Aries greatest and highest good. What is the energy surrounding them coming towards them? What do they need to know? So the anchor is the empress in the reverse. That's Taurus energy. So there's definitely changing of direction, right? You're, you are um, definitely changing your direction in regards to a cycle where there was a lot of chaotic energy, a lot of betrayal, right? You were dealing with someone that possibly was operating under an illusion. We've got that empty shell energy, right? Somebody is very uh, one thing on the outside, something very empty on the inside and broken, and that caused some pain to the Empress. There was a lack of support or a lack of nurturing, caring, right? I feel that somebody was duped. Somebody was left with a lot of the responsibilities for a broken connection cycle. A lot of collateral damage in this energy is what I'm picking up. But there's clarity now. I do feel that the worst is behind you with this um, forbidden and the secrets in the reverse, like things have come to light and things are moving and they're moving in a better direction. Like I'm picking up six of six of swords energy here, right? Like moving away from this chaotic energy towards something new, something that is going to be clear, something that's, you know, there's a clarity in this direction that you're taking. We've got five of swords at the bottom of the deck. So definitely releasing a cycle that was full of manipulation a lot of disrespect here in this energy, like waves in and out crashing. You never knew what you were going to get. You were dealing with someone who was very comfortable in chaos. This is somebody that was manipulating you as well as others. This is someone that was possibly entertaining third party, right? There was betrayal to the divine feminine here is the energy that's coming out. And then that five of swords in the reverse that does validate the fact that, that you're moving in a different direction. You're no longer invested in this. This is over, dead, and done, the world. But there's validation for the process, you know, the cycle that you've released and walked away from, clearing out this energy of Ten of Swords in the reverse. So there's clarification that you're moving in a new direction after ending something with someone that was quite chaotic. There were a lot of secrets. You were dealing with someone that was very broken and empty. 
is what I'm getting. So that five of swords is Aquarius energy and the Empress is Taurus energy. It doesn't have to be, but that is the energy of those uh, cards. But the Empress in the reverse is showing me that you're moving in a different direction, moving towards expansion in a new way outside of the energy that is showing up here. So this energy shows up for you quite a bit. There's a reason for it. And again, I can't control it, but that is what's choosing to come out right now. And possibly you're still working through uh, and navigating through this new cycle after changing direction. Could be could be releasing a Taurus or you could be on the cusp yourself. Show me the challenge that's showing up for Aries in regards to the energy surrounding them coming towards them. What is the challenge here? Five of Swords in the reverse. So that definitely wants to come out. So I will do an extended for this reading. I'm going to continue pulling the six cards. But if I do need to clarify, I will do that in the extended. But it's very clear that you're moving in a different direction. You're putting your energy into something else. You're birthing something else into the universe. And I will definitely clarify that in this reading. And the challenge truly is releasing, cutting the cords with something, someone that was toxic. Again, the empty shell, the broken pieces. Like, do you see the similarities in this energy? Right? So you were dealing with a masculine, doesn't have to be a male, but definitely someone that was of the dark, dark energy, very empty, broken individual. And I'm picking up the same energy on that moving card. You were dealing with someone that was very closed off. And there's clarification to the fact that you're no longer in alignment with this person or in this cycle and you are moving away, moving slowly but surely, moving from this broken cycle, moving from this broken individual who was disrespectful, possibly had third party, um, definitely was a cheating. I'm getting the energy of cheating. Somebody that was very unpredictable, lots of in and out of energies, lots of chaos, right? You didn't know what was coming as the secrets started to pour out is what I'm getting. So the challenge is releasing yourself or moving in this new direction, finding your path, birthing something new into the universe after closing out something that was quite toxic or broken. And now you're learning how to embody this energy and put it into your power, into yourself, growing and expanding in this new cycle, loving yourself, valuing yourself. Because this person took a good chunk of your confidence, took a good chunk of your time. So that Nine of Cups energy is part of your challenge. Learning how to love yourself independently. Because you are beautiful and so deserving. You're starting to learn that. That's been part of your journey. Eight of Wands to the Nine of Cups. In this new cycle, Aries, I do feel... There's been a lot of momentum for you and you're getting a lot of validation and you're experiencing a lot of growth and starting to um, build your confidence. And you can feel like it, um, that you are being guided in that direction. The Eight of Wands is definite momentum and it's momentum that's provided by the choices you're making, but also by the direction that the universe wants you to take. So there's validation for the fact that you survived something where you were very disrespected and the challenge truly is rebuilding from this new place. But the current energy is movement towards happiness independently is what I'm getting here. We've got seven of cups also. So there's lots of options coming towards you now. So, you know, the world is your oyster, so to speak, because you definitely uh, released someone that was quite empty that caused a lot of chaos in your life. And you're not interested in being in a relationship with anyone that keeps such secrets to the point that it made you feel sick. You are carrying someone else's secrets, but not any longer. Now you're moving towards this cycle of independence with that Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is personal wish fulfillment. It is pre-Empress energy, right? So you are learning how to incorporate the past into this new power of the future, getting ready and prepared to birth something new into the universe, a new cycle, and you're going to have lots of different options. And it starts with self is what I'm getting. So the challenge truly is moving in a new way, you know, operating in this new vibration. Show me the energy of the recent past that's showing up for Aries in this message. So Queen of Cups in the reverse, you had to pull back love. There was once love. This is Cancer energy. This is... You know, the past person was someone that you had a lot of love for. Clearly, or you would not have put yourself 
in the position that you did because this took a long time to clear out of your energy, I feel. Queen of Cups. In the reverse, like I said, Cancer Energy could be walking away from a water sign. Doesn't have to be, but definitely someone that was very manipulative and a, like a gaslighter, a narcissist, someone that would lie, someone that would betray the Divine Feminine. Could even be someone that you were, you know, married to or had children with. Someone that you thought you were going to um, have a life with forever. But, but this person was empty. This person wasn't operating from their heart space. And you had no choice but to pull your energy back. This person really hurt you in regards to your heart. And then bottom of the deck on that Queen of Cups, we've got Justice, Libra Energy. Right? So there's there's validation for a rebalance, restructuring of the situation of the karmic debt. Three of Cups in the reverse. There's no reconciliation. There's no there's no desire to go back. Certainly, the love has been destroyed. You would never gamble your peace for anyone outside of yourself at this moment is what I feel. You were manipulated. You're done playing games. And now you're setting seeds that will that will put you on this new path of expansion. Seven of Pentacles. So Seven of Pentacles is also Taurus energy. So you're moving in this energy of being very grounded, looking to find balance. It's all about balance right now. You, after dealing with something that was very chaotic, you're just looking to be um, consistent and solid in the decisions you're making, in, in the people that you're welcoming into your life, the things that you're investing your time and energy in. You would never gamble your peace again. That's what I'm getting. You see the value and worth in where you invest your time and energy. You're not interested in playing games with your heart ever again. So that is of the recent past. Show me the energy surrounding Aries in regards to this energy that's coming towards them, surrounding them that they're not aware of. What is the energy coming towards Aries that they are not aware of? Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. To the Knight of Wands. I feel that you're very aligned with the way you see the world at this time. Again, I come back to this Knight of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. You will not invest in anyone just because you're attracted to them. It's about evolving through this love of self what you would have jumped at in the past would not entertain you currently is what i'm getting with that knight of wands the king of swords two of pentacles to the ten of pentacles what you found attractive or of wise investment in the past is not resonating or aligning with you currently i do feel that in the past you possibly were very um quick to commit to somebody right? You were very quick to believe somebody. You were very quick to give yourself to somebody. And the person that you gave yourself to was not worthy. So it's going to take more than just attraction for you to fully invest in someone moving forward is what I'm getting with that 10 of pentacles in the reverse, knight of wands, king of swords, two of pentacles, the emperor. I feel that you've been standing in your power for a period of time, Aries, and you see your value and your worth and you're taking control of the situation. And in that, there's accountability for the fact that you possibly connected to someone in the past too quickly because you were very attracted to them. That was a big part of why you were wanting to invest in this person because of the superficial, because of the things that were fed to you. So now I just feel this very different energy about where you would be putting your full alignment in. So it's a full investment. The Ten of Pentacles is, is your full investment towards your goal, right? Whatever that may be. It's where you're putting all your time and energy. It's where, you know, where you're putting your bang for your buck. It's, it's, it's the ultimate investment in your life. And you're not going to gamble that for someone just based on attraction at this time with the Knight of Wands. It's going to take a lot more than that for you to commit is what I feel. And the King of Swords is validating that. It's more head over heart. 
like you could have in the past been a very impulsive Aries, one that um, was very attracted to somebody and that was the drive for you, but you've learned from that. You've learned something very valuable from that. You've changed the way that you proceed and move forward in this energy, right? You're standing in control now. You're in control of where you're invested. You're in control of your decisions. You're in control of your capacity and you see the situation very clearly with that Knight of Wands. So Ten of Pentacles in the reverse for the energy surrounding you is validating the choices that you're making moving forward and the fact that you're not going to just invest in the first thing that comes your way, right? It's it's definite alignment with your head and your heart. It's going to be necessary for you in order to change directions because you're very much being guided in this direction to make choices that are better, that are satisfying, right? Because you are in control of your destiny and of your energy at this time with the emperor showing up. Because that is your energy. We've got two of pentacles. That's Capricorn energy. King of swords is Libra. And then the knight of wands. That's Sagittarius energy. And then ten of pentacles. That's Virgo. So it's just validating that you're not going to gamble your value and your worth anymore for something as, as simple as attraction. It's going to take a lot more than that is what I'm getting. So that's the energy that surrounds you that you're not aware of. Show me who's coming towards Aries in the current or future energy. Show me the energy that's coming towards Aries for the person coming in currently or in the future. Queen of Pentacles. So that's a validation for the investment that's coming in. This is someone that's very grounded, very established as well. They have their own value and your worth. And that's something that's important. Like I said, the Knight of Wands is not going to cut it in this new phase of your life. You're looking for something that's definitely more grounded. With that Queen of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles is a better investment as compared to the Knight of Wands, right? So the investments you're making is definitely different from what would have been appealing or attractive to you in the past. This person is loyal. This person is self-sufficient. And this person wouldn't rush into a connection either. So it's just a very different vibration. And bottom of the deck, Five of Pentacles which is Taurus energy. So we have a lot of Taurus here. Queen of Pentacles, that's Virgo. Five of Cups in the reverse. So this person that's coming towards you is also dealing with um, releasing something of their own. There's something that they are working hard towards. So it's just alignment. This person, this new person that's coming into your life is someone that is going to meet or match your vibration is the energy that I'm getting. Could be a Virgo, doesn't have to be, could also be a Taurus and a Leo, but there's things in regards to this person coming in that you don't see. So you might not even know this person yet, this person that's coming towards you, but it is going to be someone that is going to be worth, worth your while and vice versa. Again, a very matched energy. What is the outcome of this message for Aries? What is the outcome of this message? Eight of Cups in the reverse. So it's a cycle that you, there's something that's not being released or <clears throat> the cycle is not yet complete. There's a reason this continues to show up. Aries could be a Pisces that you're connecting to that has not yet learned their lesson or that is still, you know, um, thinking about you, still connected to you. Could be a past person that is still um, not releasing or cutting the cord bottom of the deck three of cups but there's no return so this person this energy doesn't continue to show up because you're going to go back to it that's being clarified over and over and over but just feel i just feel that the further you expand and grow the more validation from this person from the past still connecting three of is still going to try and be relevant in some way in your life it's not over i mean in regards to your investment into the past it's over and done but the cycle is not complete is what I keep getting with that eight of cups in the reverse. Like I said, that is something that is not over and done in a past relationship. You know, there's someone that has not faced their karma. There's someone that is not, um, is avoiding their accountability for the way that they treated you for the games that were played, right? There's justice in this, in this energy, Give me more on that Eight of Cups for the outcome, for the energy coming towards or surrounding Aries. Give me more on that Eight of Cups, please. 
clarify that eight of cups for the outcome queen of wands in the reverse like i said there's karmic debt being played here and that's it's outside of you the queen of wands in the reverse that's third party energy as well as the eight of cups you know, I just feel like that's not over, said, and done, even though you're moving in a new direction. Ten of Swords in the reverse. So the person from the past continues to show up because they have yet to face their karma. There's validation for new energy coming in. The things that are going to be appealing to you or valuable to you are very different than what you would have chosen based on what you what you were dealing with in the past, right? You were in a chaotic, toxic energy with someone that gambled you that was very empty right? That was very broken because you were attracted to them and you possibly rushed into that connection, but there's validation for the new path that you're on. You're not going to gamble your peace. Your peace has become very important, right? The things that you've been working very hard on Aries are being validated here. And that is what you're attracting ultimately, right? So I do feel there's validation for the fact that you're moving in this new energy, but the past is still firmly anchored and attached and continues to show up for some particular reason is the energy that I am getting. Give me more on the Empress in the reverse for the overall anchor. Give me a little bit more energy on that Empress in the reverse, please, Spirit, for the energy surrounding coming towards Six of Pentacles, right? So from something that was very broken, you know, from a cycle that you weren't able to grow and expand and now you've moved towards this balanced energy with the Six of Pentacles. So that's Taurus too, right? There's Taurus energy all around you. Six of Pentacles energy balanced. Somebody was breadcrumbing you. Someone was holding you back. All of those things. So there's validation for that, that you're not ever going to gamble your peace. You're not interested in going back to this unpredictable chaos of the past. There's just grounded energy all about you and that you're anchored in that. You've learned a lot of valuable lessons. That hair font is also Taurus energy. So there's loyalty in the expansion that you're taking at this time, but the past is still connecting to you for some reason. So I'm going to move into an extended. I'm going to dive deeper. I'm going to clarify I want to pull another spread or another card on uh, this new person that's coming in, this loyal energy that's coming towards you, surrounding you. And uh, like I said, I'm going to clarify the message a little deeper. So if you're interested, connect through the description box. There's a link for this extended. But if this is where we part, this is what I have for you, Aries. So thank you so much always for watching my content. Please like, comment, subscribe if you have not done so. Take care, Aries. Bye.